Hi, hello. The Lord bless you. Welcome to Kingdom Upgrade YouTube channel. I am your ambassador, Dylan. Let's connect here where the kingdom evolves into the realm of reality, manifesting in the culture where glory becomes tangible, the place of rapid transformation within transition. Come on, meet me here where the glory where there is growing excellence in glory <laughs> hallelujah where there is growing excellence in glory the lord bless you if you're a first time viewer here i encourage you to press the subscription button and the notification bell that you will be aware of our content when they are uploaded welcome and thank you for stopping by let's jump into this content here this content we're looking at the light is come the light is come who is the light the light has come let's look at this analogy here we're all aware that we have electrical power from a power source okay and there are times that power source will go out and we will be in blackout power outage and if it's at night the place is pitch dark okay and there are times you're in the house and everything is pitch dark. You can't see anything in the house when the power go out. And before you know it, oops, the power return and there is a light. With that, you're able to see everything in the house now. You're able to even give a description of every piece of furniture in the house. Because why? Light has come. The light has returned. So the furniture now... It's clearly seen and every other item you can see it and you can even give a description detailed description of what is there so it is the very experience you have or you will have when the light of Christ comes in your life okay whereby everything that had appeared to be dark or blurry you'll be able to clearly see see it for what it really is Come on. So now because the light is come, everything will be seen for what it really is. Come on. Everything that appears to be dark, blurry, not too clear, you have questions you can't understand, will now be made known, will be seen clearly for what it really is. Because why? The light has come. Who is that light? Christ is that light. In the person of the Holy Spirit, the light has come so revelation truth insight knowledge okay the revelatory knowledge of who christ is okay is here you just have to make yourself available be willing be desirable of having more of christ more understanding more revelation more truth this has become a level playing field whosoever believeth in christ should not perish but have everlasting life so this has become a level playing field you know this has nothing to do with organization no god said in the in jesus said in the last days in joel chapter 228 a spirit will be poured out on all flesh come on all flesh all humanity it doesn't matter where you would have been what you would have done as long as you desire as long as you believe come on come on you accept him as personal savior all flesh this is all flesh this is this has no division what will hinder you is your desire you will hinder you no one else will hinder you okay so let's look at john chapter 3 verse 19. this is a judgment that the light has come into the world and men love the darkness rather than the light for their deeds were evil and are evil come on <laughs> so what is the word actually saying to us that the judgment really is that the light came and men has proven to be that they rather the darkness than the light so that's the judgment that's the indictment come on let's look at it from the amplified version john chapter 3 verse 19 the basis of the judgment the indictment the test for which men are judged the ground for their sentence lies in this 
the light has come into the world and people have loved the darkness rather than and more than the light for their deeds their works are evil or their deeds are evil what is the word actually saying to us it has proven this is the judgment the indictment because the light came suddenly and men prefer to be in the state of darkness rather than moving into the place of light or having the light or preferring the light above the darkness why because darkness has a lot to do with deception darkness has a lot to do with passivity darkness has a lot to do with procrastination okay deception falsehood okay so you're in a state of darkness and you prefer to remain there because it brings you to a place of becoming comfortable okay so we're dealing with passivity we're dealing with deception we're dealing with falsehood okay it's all a pre it's lies and it, it keeps you there giving you the impression that okay this is better this is okay and have no desire for the true light because that is a false light it, it appeared to be when it was just an appearance and was not the true light so now the true light came and when the true light came the true light now expose and reveal that the light that were before or were there was there it was just an appearance of light it was not the true light okay so it's false my god so we are speaking here not of physical literal light just for clear clarity we're speaking of state of being living understanding we're speaking of revelatory knowledge insight okay that is coming to the person of the holy spirit because the holy spirit is going to lead us into all truth that's what the word of god said jesus said when the holy spirit come i'm going to send you a comforter I'm going to pray the Father that he send you the comforter. When the comforter comes, he is going to lead you into all truth. Okay? So that's the purpose of the person of the Holy Spirit. To lead us into all truth. Okay? Jeremiah 23, 3 declares that, Call unto me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. Great and mighty things. Things that were hidden, covered, sealed, protected, and you knew nothing of. God is saying, call unto me and I will show you, I will reveal to you how through the person of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is a paraclete. He is a helper. He's the one that walks alongside us. He is the one that reveals deeper things and the deeper things of life. He's the one that teaches us the deeper things of life. Okay? So we're speaking here of the light of Christ. Revelatory knowledge. Insight. That we will know what is the hope of our calling in Christ Jesus. My God. Because when the light of Christ comes, he reveals. He is light. He is light. He is light. When he comes, light comes, darkness has to go. And everything will now be seen for what it really is. Come on. Clearly seen for what it really is. So the word of God is saying here that it has proven that is the indictment. That is a sentence and it lies in this that the light has come into the world and people have loved the darkness rather than, than and more than the light. For their works and their deeds are evil. That is why they prefer because they want to stay there. They don't want to be exposed. Not to be uncovered. They want to be comfortable. Oh mighty God. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Hear what it says to us. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and prudent and shrewd in their own sight. Verse 22. Woe to those who are mighty heroes at drinking wine and men of strength. In mixing alcohol drink who, who justify and acquit the guilty for a bribe but take away the rights of the innocent and righteous from them come on listen a lot of times we get high on our own supply what am I saying 
of our own deception, our own lies. We get high on that because that's what the word of God said. There's a way that seemeth right to a man, but the end thereof is destruction. So what seems right to you, get high on that because you think that is what God wants. No, we cannot be wise in our own sight and our own eyes and our own wisdom. We have to be wise in the wisdom of God. Because God is wisdom. So our wisdom comes from God, not our own wisdom. Because war speaks of doom. What happened? There's a doom or there's a war because it happens suddenly. And it becomes revealed and manifested. So it's an exposure. The war to those who call evil good and good evil. Who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and prudent and shrewd in their own sight. Come on. This thing is not in us. God is wisdom. So we have to be wise in his wisdom, not ours. Because we will be led to destruction. Okay? God is faithful. Okay? Who justify and acquit the guilty for a bribe? You see? Justify and acquit the guilty for a bribe. But take away the rights of the innocent and righteous from judge from them. Listen. The light has come. And the light is able to reveal everything that had appeared to be blurred, dark, gloomy, all the smoke screen. The light is going to clear it up. Smoke screen. Who is that light? Jesus is the light that has come. He is the light. So, Father, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you thanks, God, because you are faithful. I praise and thank you because you are faithful, you are merciful, you are compassionate. There is none like unto thee, O Lord. You are awesome. How excellent is your name in all the earth. So we say, God, come your kingdom. Come your will be done on earth, in earthen vessels. And manifest, God, according to your plan and your purpose. And I pray the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened in this hour. In Jesus' name, I pray the Lord bless your lives with revelation. I pray that the Lord bless your lives with revelation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord bless your lives with revelation. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. Shalom.